These guys created an electrolyte drink that's basically made from salt and water. Can you imagine actually paying for that? Well, I did. And if you want to find out more about this product, this video might be for you. Hey, it's Kurt. I buy fitness products with my own hard-earned cash and do a review on them and give them a rating to help you guys out to see if you'd like to purchase them or not. I buy all my products with my own money unless they were given to me for free by the manufacturer. And if that's the case, I will always let you know at the beginning of the video. Recently, I have been kind of fixating on hydration drinks. I started with this stuff called Ultima, which I liked a lot. Then I kind of moved on to BioSteel Hydration Mixed Drink, which I liked even more because it was NSF certified for sport. And over the last year, I've really been enjoying BioSteel, especially the different flavors they have like Rainbow Twist, Blue Raspberry, and White Freeze. It's always been a really refreshing hydration drink after I do like 10,000 steps or I work out in the morning at my house. But I wasn't quite sure if it was replenishing my electrolytes or not. And this is what piqued my interest in Element. I saw a whole bunch of ads for it on Instagram and it advertised itself as an electrolyte drink mix, not a hydration drink. And it seemed to be pretty hardcore. And I thought next step for me maybe is to do something a little more hardcore than BioSteel to see what it was like. Also, I had never tried an electrolyte drink mix before, so I figured let's go ahead and try this. Here's how my experiment went. What did you end up ordering? I ended up ordering the Element Insider Bundle, which is basically a box made up of four different flavors of 30 serving stick packs a piece for a total of 120 servings. And then I randomly picked four flavors that I thought I might like. Well, at least three of the four flavors I thought I might like. I picked orange salt, citrus salt, mango chill, and then just to see what it was like, I picked the raw unflavored pack. I had no knowledge about the product whatsoever, but I did find it strange that almost all of them had the word salt in their names. I definitely thought, wow, this is gonna be like nothing else I've ever tried before. What did you expect and what did you get? I didn't know what to expect, which made it kind of fun, but about a week later, I got this really nice looking box. And I also noticed many references to salt on the packaging. They were definitely not trying to shy away from this main ingredient. So I figured, wow, this drink probably has lots of salt in it. On the outside of the box, it says no sugar and only one carb per serving. I thought that was kind of a nice way to start. I also found out that they're sweetened by stevia leaf extract. They were gluten-free, paleo and keto friendly, and vegan friendly. Last I noticed there was a logo on the outside that said the official partner of USA Weightlifting. So I looked around to see maybe it had an NSF certified for sport logo on it too, because I imagine if USA Weightlifting is using this, they must be confident in this product that it doesn't have anything in it that might disqualify a weightlifter. But I didn't see NSF certified on the package. What was it like trying it for the first time? I like the fact that these boxes came with little stick packs in them. So each serving was a stick pack. And what I thought was great is I could throw some in my backpack to take to work. I could throw some in my car in case I needed them from time to time. It just made it really convenient. However, the funny thing about it is I didn't realize you could actually rip open the packets. At first I was just using scissors to open the packages. A little bit later I noticed you could just actually rip it. You just need to find the line on the packet. And sometimes it's just a little bit hard to see. The first time I used it, I thought to myself, you know what, I'm gonna try this with a lot of water. I'm not gonna do the minimum amount of water. I'll try it with 16 ounces of water. I poured eight ounces of water into my Yeti container, and then I poured the little packet in. And after I did that, I poured another eight ounces of water and then shook it up. And the first time I took a sip of it, I was a little surprised. It was basically a little bit rougher than I thought. It was very salty, something I was not used to at all. In fact, the first time I tried it, I thought, man, this kind of tastes like I just was surfing and I came up from duck diving and gulped a whole bunch of water in my mouth. Now it tastes a little bit better than that and not quite as salty, but that's kind of what kind of a shock I got. Also, I felt this kind of stinging sensation in the back of my neck, in the back of my neck, in the back of my throat. And it's probably from the salt, you know, hitting maybe some sore spots in your throat. And I also got this kind of aroma 
that went up through my nasal passages and I smelled salt. But I didn't want to give up on it after just this one try. After all, there's a lot of very reputable people who are supporting this product. So the next day, I decided to use 32 ounces of water, which helped tremendously. So I poured the package in my Yeti 32 ounce container, shook that up, and that diluted the salt a lot more and made it a little bit easier to sip. Now I didn't sit down and drink all of it in one sitting, it was just uh, still a little bit too salty for that, but at least I could take little sips of it for about an hour and actually get the whole thing down. Did you get used to the salty taste? Yes, I did. It took about five days to kind of get used to it, and after two weeks, I was hooked. Now, I think it's really important that you find your own personal water to electrolyte mix so it tastes good for you. Some people can probably take more salt flavor than I can, and some people less. I also kind of got excited about just the overall feeling you get when you first take it, where you get a little bit of sting in your throat and then you get that salt aroma in your nasal passages. I don't know, I kind of got hooked on that feeling because it felt like it gave me some natural energy. And I'm not sure if that's because my electrolytes are being replenished or that salt was going through my nasal passages, but it would clear up my nasal passages a little bit. Now, I don't know if that's something they claim this actually does, but that's what happened to me. And that was a nice feeling of kind of getting all opened up after drinking this. What were the major differences between Element and BioSteel hydration drink? I realized Element was a great drink to have right after I worked out in the morning and I sweated a lot or after I did my 10,000 steps in the morning. Something about it was different than the BioSteel hydration drink. Probably because my body was low in salt and I needed more sodium and potassium. What is it made of that might have helped you? The thing I like about Element is it's pretty much made up of three different ingredients, sodium, potassium, and magnesium. I mean, it does have some stevia leaf extract for flavoring, but besides that, it's really simple. Whereas a drink like BioSteel has all sorts of different ingredients. Nothing wrong with that, just different. Here's a quick comparison. Element has 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 2,000 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. That's it. BioSteel has all these other nutrients, yet falls way short of Element in the other categories. BioSteel Hydration Drink only has 140 milligrams of sodium, 33 milligrams of potassium, and 13.6 milligrams of magnesium. So is this whole salt thing a good thing? The co-founder of Element is Rob Wolf. Well, Rob is a former research biochemist and is a two-time New York Times Wall Street Journal best-selling author of The Paleo Solution and Wired to Eat. So he knows a little bit about nutrition. He's a huge advocate of having more salt or sodium in your diet than the government advocates. As an athlete himself, he had a coach a long time ago who basically told him, look, Rob, you don't have enough salt in your system. So Rob kind of adjusted his system to take in more salt and sodium, and it helped him tremendously. So after having this enlightenment, he and three others decided to co-found Element. Rob has written a lot of articles about how the government likes people to have an average of 2.3 grams of sodium per day, and he thinks you need at least twice that for your body to perform optimally. And this is through a lot of scientific research, not just him making this stuff up. So I'll put a link in the description down below and you can read a few of those articles and see if you agree or not. What were your favorite flavors? I like the mango chill, the orange salt, and the citrus salt. The raw version is for hardcore fans. I have a friend of mine and he and his wife are probably the cleanest eaters I've ever met in my life. They don't like any flavor in anything and that's all they drink. I had to challenge myself to try this stuff. And I have to tell you this, I mixed it with 32 ounces of water about five days ago. That's been sitting in my refrigerator for about five days now and I'm still not finished with it. Every morning I wake up and I drink a couple sips and I kind of look like this and then I put it back in the refrigerator and then I just leave her for the next day. I'm sure I'll get through it in the next few days. For all of you that can drink that raw unflavored stuff in one sitting, respect. What was the cost? Well, the best thing I can compare it to is BioSteel Hydration Mix. And here's what I came up with. They're both pretty close in cost. BioSteel charges $49.99 for 45 servings, which comes to $1.11 per serving. Element charges $135 for the 120 serving Insider Bundle, which comes out to $1.13 a serving. If you buy less than 120 servings of Element, 
it's more expensive. For example, if you only bought 30 servings at a time, that costs you $45. That makes the price more like $1.50 a serving. Both BioSteel and Element have subscriptions you can join and save a few more bucks. Would you buy it again? Yes, I would definitely buy it again. In fact, I think I'm actually gonna give up my BioSteel hydration mix and just start using Element now because I just feel more from it. And here's a nice tip. If you go out one night and maybe have a little bit too much to drink and you wake up in the morning and you feel a little dehydrated, maybe have a little hangover, drinking this stuff really does make your hangover go away quicker. So on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being best, I'll give Element a nine out of 10. Okay, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my video, do me a favor, hit that like button, and of course, subscribe if you want to, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all my videos when they come out. And of course, if you have any questions, do me a favor, put them in the description down below, and I'll do the best I can to answer them. Finally, you can hit me up on Instagram at KurtFitFi, where I post just other things, fitness, and sometimes just some neat photos. I'm now on Twitter at KurtFitFi, five where I have exactly one follower so if you want to be follower number two jump on and follow me that'll be exciting I post pretty much every day on both those platforms I'll see you on the next one